In the last 100 years, we as a society have progressively taken access to power for granted. But when we look closer, there is a lot that goes behind. Making sure machines work, cities are well lit, agriculture can thrive, mobility is smooth, entertainment is exciting and much more. All in all, our quality of life is not compromised. A sequence of dark blips today could create civilizational chaos. Truly enough, this is how electrical power takes charge. These monuments of power allow modern India to step up, stimulate and accelerate the government's desire to pace the nation's growth story. This is also where companies like transformers and rectifiers come in. The company began its journey in 1981, first repairing and then making distribution transformers. TNR, as it is better known, shifted gears, acquired the needed skills and experience to venture into making furnace transformers. This proved to be a winner as a niche product and soon a market share of 80% was a year-on-year -year certainty. By 1994, TNR explored new pathways in keeping with India's liberalization policies and aimed to move into transformers with higher ratings. In 1994, a new plant in Changodar, followed by another massive facility set up in 2009 in Moraya, Ahmedabad, with state-of-the-art infrastructure, ensured these goals were realized. The product range chart comprehensively showcases TNR as one of the few companies in the world with the capability to manufacture this exhaustive range in alignment with global standards. Technical collaborations with ZTR Ukraine and Fuji Japan strengthens this competence. As this timeline reveals, it was all made possible by the concerted effort of Team TNR to power forth with the desired technical equity and competitive edge. From design, production, testing to marketing and support, each member firmly believes in the power of we. The team brings to the shop floor of more than 5,000 man years of experience with a team strength of more than 1,400. They have access to a production capacity of 37,000 MVA, one of the biggest in India. Holding the fort is a team of designers who are always up to the challenge of creating robust, long-lasting, efficient transformers, which also leverage IT and data to develop demand-based, customized solutions with a distinct competitive edge. Design Validation Analytics, in-house developed program of electrical design. Testing, impulse up to 2400 kV, all in-house routine and type test. It is a matter of pride that all labs are approved by NABL. These stringent quality compliances ensure the consistent delivery of world-class products. Team TNR thrives on the shop floor through the winding tanking, core assembly, testing and VPD divisions. This team has progressively created unique and market-driven breakthroughs over the years. Three hundred and fifteen MVA, four hundred KV at under short circuit test at Kema, Netherlands subsequently commissioned at Getco site in Gujarat. 25 MVA EF transformer for Azerbaijan. 156 MVA biggest furnace transformer commissioned. 132 MVA EAF 60 Hz transformer. 70 MVA EAF 50 Hz transformer. 24 MVA LF 50 Hz transformer. 75 MVA 60 Hz power transformer with vegetable oil and low sound level. These striking achievements have been recognized and complement the prestigious list 
of over 15,000 installations for national and international customers of DNR. Hi, my name is Balji Singh. I am working as Associate Vice President in RT Steels Limited. We are using TNR transformer since last 20 years and we are satisfied with the performance of the transformer. We are also using the electric arc furnace duty special transformer uh, since last uh, since 2017 and we are satisfied with the performance of that transformer also. Thanks. Good evening, myself MS Vero representing Sri Girja Alla and Power, India Private Limited. So, uh, situated at Pedapuram, uh, nearby Kakanada, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, about my company, this is a captive uh, plant of 108 megawatt as a power plant and uh, 54 MVA of uh, ferroalysis. So, each uh, we have set up uh, uh, 8 numbers of ferroalloy of each 9 MVA capacity. So out of which uh, this uh, industry has been uh, commissioned in 2013 uh, and uh, we procured n number of uh, power transformers and furnace duty transformers and distribution transformers of TNR make. So in the year of 2013 we have commissioned all the transformers and till now all the transformers are running successfully. Today. TNR has executed and commissioned transformers in more than 30 countries and is aggressively pitching for a bigger presence in South Africa, rest of Africa, Europe, North and South America, Central and South Asia. As of 2023, the market is in overdrive. The order booking is healthy and inspiring and the path is promisingly lit. To further improve turnaround times, Forward and backward integration of tanking, radiators and switch gears have stimulated market confidence for the future. These initiatives strengthen core fundamentals and promises to give strong financial top line and bottom line growth and greater reward to the shareholders. Here's what Chairman Mr. Jitendra Mantora has to say. Having established ourselves as uh, one of uh, the largest manufacturer of extra high voltage transformers uh, and uh, getting the recognition from uh, the majority of the utilities and the transmission companies for our product, we are uh, uh, at, at a position where uh, uh, we can really dictate the market. Uh, when I say dictate the market means uh, we'll uh, command the respect to which a good manufacturer gets uh, and that is what we are going to get and we are getting it now. A uh, lot of uh, uh, renewable uh, energy is coming into uh, generation. Uh, the power evacuation has become a big issue uh, because power evacuation is required uh, to transmit the power to the place where it is uh, going to be used rather than uh, power where it is generated. Like in solar, you know, the most of the power, uh, the solar plants are uh, at the places where the land cost is very uh, less. And uh, so to say, it is uh, where it is a barren land. And the power, there are no factories there, there is no consumption of power there. So the power is to be transmitted to the areas uh, where uh, the factories are there, manufacturing hubs are there, even uh, coal centers are there. So uh, that has created a huge demand for uh, the transformers. Uh, there are projects which are uh, floated by uh, the Indian government or power finance corporation um, uh, where the transformer requirement is going to be like uh, 25 to 27,000 crores uh, which are to be supplied in next two years. So uh, there's going to be huge opportunities for everyone and we expect to do good uh, in this sector. Thank you. In many ways, TNR is another great Make in India story in the making. These quiet and strategic contributions are confident steps to make India a $5 trillion economy by 2026. 
truly the power of performance the power of commitment and the power of we